it's three in the morning. Would you guys like to know why I can't sleep? I'll tell you. I woke up about an hour ago. Just couldn't get back to sleep. But, you know, despite the messy hair, despite my sour mood, despite being pissed off, I'm going to attempt to refrain from screaming my goddamn head off. Because I'm fixing to call the police right now. Why? Well, I guess if you haven't figured it out by now, of my sour mood, in my latest videos, my car's been taken. Again. Again. This is the second time that it's been taken. The second time. The first time was because out of miscommunication. This time, I know. I know for a fact that I've been paying my fucking bill. My stupid ass $500 bill every goddamn month on an agreement that we had. And I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you guys in on the agreement because I feel like you guys should know out of context what this agreement was. This agreement was that I pay $250, which is half, half of $500, or however much it was, $250 one week, and the rest the next. They agreed. They agreed. There's a physical, there's a recording of them agreeing to the offer that I would pay $250 every week and I would look every week on my bank account to make sure that they're still getting their $200 $250 in the first two weeks Now, the reason why I haven't been, you know, mentioning this a lot in my videos is because I don't feel like everybody should know what the hell I'm doing every goddamn month with my goddamn money. It, it's, it's my fucking money. I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want to do with it. So, yeah. I'm expected to get around 700-ish dollars this week alone to hopefully fill my bank up with $700. Since last week was rent, I had around um, 1100 Actually, no, I had around 1200 last week. That, cut, that got cut down to $100 after paying rent and paying internet. That's all the money I had left from um, to last for this week and um, thankfully I, I used some of the money at the time and uh, kind of dwindled, dwindled it down to around 50 to 40 dollars which again was was okay because I had half fuel so I had plenty of gas to get from here to work for at least the next two weeks since there was warm weather so there would be no reason for me to have my car on, have my heat on, or have my AC on since it would be like really nice weather. And it was. It was extraordinarily nice for once. I am 
I'm sipping on milk to try to help me go back to sleep here in a minute. And all I'm thinking about is, why did they lie to me again? Now, something I probably should have said from the beginning is that they started spam calling me or started harassing me back in November. I maybe should have said something about that. Maybe I should have put a video out there saying, hey, these guys have been harassing me after I agreed that I would pay 200 whatever fucking dollars every goddamn month or, or every every fucking week like within two weeks of the same month they had no problem with it up to November why why did it take them I got my car back in it was either June or July I can't remember I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head but um But I got my car back at around around summertime last year. We made the agreement, and it took them from July to November to start threatening me again. To start threatening, oh, we're going to take your car again. November, the same month that I moved into this apartment. The same month. And I thought, well, it's not a big deal. I'm paying my bills. Even, I don't care if I'm late, as they call it. They shouldn't care that I'm late. They should care that I'm paying my fucking bill. Yeah, I'm still receiving threats that, that they're going to take my fucking car just because I'm late a day or I'm late per hour or whatever okay it's an automatic setup we agreed on this automatic setup that I would pay two hundred and fifty dollars in the first two weeks of every month because that's how much I can afford that's including rent and trust me December was a very bad month for me December was was a, a lot of catching up and I was barely just barely able to make January rent and then I had a hundred dollars left over for this month's rent and now this happened this happened at a at literally two weeks before my own fucking birthday you're gonna take my fucking car away from me? I haven't called the cops yet. I don't plan on calling the cops until around 8 in the morning when I officially wake up. And probably worry about getting the car back and ensuing to get the car back instead of streaming tomorrow or later today. I probably will not stream at all today. I'm sorry if you expected me to stream. I probably will not be streaming tomorrow. So, again, I, I deeply apologize, but because of the situation, I'm forced to make an official video stating that my car was legitimately stolen from me. Again. Stolen. S stolen. Who does that? Who takes other people's property knowing full well, I shouldn't do this. But God damn, I need the money.
you need the money that bad, how about you get up off your lazy, stupid ass, go to the nearest staff signing fucking place, staffing agency, whatever the fuck it's even called, and put your goddamn name in their fucking system. They can guarantee you a fucking good job, a good, well-paying $15 an hour job, or $16 an hour job, or something, probably within two weeks. If you're well working and not like Spike, who's mostly disabled because of something wrong with his heart, then I'm pretty sure you, you, you'd be fine working at a goddamn factory. And I bring up Spike's disability because his major disability is that he has heart problems. He has a weak blood vessel, I think it's called, or some shit like that. Or, no, 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 excuse me. He has a heart murmur, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it's the only reason why he's quote-unquote disabled. And it's a legitimate dis disability. So, as long as you're not physically disabled... You got both your fucking hands, both of your fucking legs, nothing wrong with your body, nothing wrong with your heart or anything, and I'm not poking fun at you, Spike, so before you say anything to me, I'm just putting your disability into context, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people out there that are in the same situation that you are, but I'm just putting it out there for context that if you don't have a disability, yet you're out there stealing my fucking car there's a fucking staffing agency about about 10 to 13 miles that away and I'm pretty sure there's another there's another one about maybe 5 miles that away towards the interstate I'm not entirely sure about that away. I don't I don't usually travel around that away and work is down that way. And to put you guys into context, I'm facing north right now. Even more context. It's gonna be a fucking context video. I should name this video the context of stealing somebody else's property. I'm so fucking pissed. I don't even want to do anything else. I'm tired. I just want to go to sleep. And I come to find out that my property was stolen. And I usually don't go to bed until 12 or 1 in the morning. So maybe, just maybe, I could have stopped whoever was taking my car if I was available at that time if I was still awake so in a way I am kind of blaming myself on this because I could have stayed up I probably could have been able to stop this fucking somebody into stealing my fucking car my property depending on who the fuck it is because I have the fucking keys I still have the fucking keys. There ain't no fucking way anybody's going to take those fucking keys away from me. You cannot start that car without the key fob. Or, yeah, without the... Without, without that fucking key.
can't remember what the fuck it's called. It's a push to start car. It can't legitimately cannot start without that fucking key. So whatever fucking key those motherfuckers bypassed that allowed them access into my car because you cannot move that fucking car without the key fob. You cannot put it in neutral without it. You can't start it without it. It won't let you change gears without it. So with whatever fucking technology allowed them to do just that, it's just outright illegal. At least it should be. Pretty sure it's illegal to take somebody else's property. Last time I checked, it was against the law to take somebody else's property. <clears throat> yeah, here I am just sipping away at milk. Talking to you guys for the past 17 minutes as to why I was robbed. So, come 8 or 9 a.m., again, I'm not going to stream. I'm going to be on the phone with the police. And if they tell me that it was because I missed a payment or because I was late on a payment, I'm going to tell them, no. That car is stolen. I've been, I know I've been paying my bills every month. We're going on the second week. That bill is on, that payment is automatic, and I'm going to be legitimately watching my fucking bank all day today to ensure that that payment goes through. Because again, I have seven hundred dollars. Why wouldn't it go? Go for the car. Whatever. <sighs> so now what? I guess everybody's expecting me to just give in or say it's just a car. No, it's not just a car. That's my car. I've been taking damn good care of that fucking car. Well, mostly. Despite all the trash being collected in the front seat. Been taking fairly good care of that car. Feeding it the gas that it needs. It's getting ready to change the fucking tire next weekend. So there goes that. There goes my fucking plan for that. Now I gotta pay some stupid outrageous or out outrageous outrageous fucking bill just to get my fucking car back. Because the last time I had to fucking get my car back, I had to pay out of pocket four hundred dollars just to ensure that it it doesn't fucking get sold at an auction. And then an extra $300 just to get it released back to me. Problem is, even if I did, or actually, no, no, no. If I remember right, after I did pay that initial $400 security fee to ensure my car does not get, does not get sold they told me, we're not responsible if your car gets sold into an auction. And I told them at that moment, you are now, because I paid the $400 security fee to ensure my car does not get sold. So you better fucking make sure that my car does not get sold. And thankfully, at that time, my car didn't, but it was, it was getting there. They ensured that they wouldn't that they that it wasn't going to get sold. 
So now what? Am I going to have to pay some stupid outrageous fine again? Probably another seven hundred dollar fine. That's fine. That's that's fine. We'll do the same thing. Four hundred dollars probably this week. Three hundred dollars next week. I'm not going to pay it now. Are you fucking kidding me? I probably only have seven hundred dollars to play with. So. I'm going at around 8 or 9 in the morning. You guys are going to get an update whether or not it's legitimately stolen by some stupid low-life thug. Which I might... At that point, if it did get stolen by some low-life thug, not only will I go after them with the full extent of the law, but they would be lucky that I don't beat their fucking face in. While I stream it live to the internet. And that'll be a fucking day. I'll ensure that. I get my fucking justice. Because this is what it is. This is an injustice. 2018 was probably by far the worst year for me. Mostly because of the constant threats. From YouTube, from this stupid ass credit company, and even almost losing this fucking apartment in December because of a miscommunication. Luckily, we're all caught up. Luckily, I don't I don't even have to worry about rent now since it's all again it's already been paid. Rent's been paid fucking car was paid last week I can pretty much promise that so you know what I'm going to try to go back to sleep I've been up way too long. I'm tired. I finished my milk. So now all I want to do is just go back to sleep. Anywho, thank you guys for what. hear some heavy machinery outside anywho thank you guys for watching leave me your comments and concerns down below I'll probably read a few before the update who knows whatever have a good morning bye bye